Uh, Jakob is the CEO of Air Greenland and has been since uh, early 2018. Uh, but Jakob is not new to Air Greenland. Jakob has been within Air Greenland for about 20 years in different roles. Uh, for example, as a pilot. And I will trust Jakob to steer through this presentation. The floor is yours, Jakob. Since I have extra time, I'll speak very, very slow. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Minister, members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this uh, great opportunity to come here and speak to you uh, about Greenland and uh, Greenland and the bright future ahead of us. Um, as uh, Naya said, I have the uh, great privilege of being CEO of this uh, amazing company called uh, Air Greenland. I'm a local boy from Nuuk who grew up waving at the Sikorsky helicopters as they flew over the schoolyard. So uh, it's very humbling to stand here today and represent uh, or standing on the shoulders of aviation pioneers who have uh, um, been in the business for 60 years. The Greenland was founded in 1960 and, and has been operating under some of the most difficult flying conditions in the world for uh, so long. But before I continue about our Greenland, I'll just briefly touch uh, a little bit on the diversities of uh, our uh, home country of uh, Greenland. Uh, much has been said about the size. Uh, size does matter. Uh, Greenland, or uh, Galactic Nomad as we call it, is the world's largest island and as Vanna said, 2.2 million square kilometers. Uh, just to give you a sense of the size, you can here see how Greenland compares to both the US and, uh, and Europe. Uh, as you probably know, 85% of the uh, island is covered by ice, making only the coastline or approximately 15% of the island inhabitable. Uh, this vast coastline uh, is in length equal to that of the equator, um, which is, oh, but, uh, just it there. Um, geography and climate basically sets the limitations for any activities in Greenland, uh, be it hunting, mining, or tourism. Greenland decides and you have to adapt. It has been like this for thousands of years and will probably continue to be so uh, in the future also. So it requires both extensive knowledge, experience, lots of training and a great deal of planning and patience to operate safely and effectively in, uh, in Greenland. Werner, he uh, told us about the population uh, in Greenland, uh, 57,000 approximately with one third living in the capital of Nuuk. Uh, this map represents our route network. We operate into 14 airports and 43 heliports transporting around 430,000 passengers uh, per year. The comparable size regions uh, of Europe covers over 300 million uh, people, so it just gives you an idea of the markets in which we operate. And that's why I tend to call a Greenland for a nine-legged chair. We stand on nine small legs, uh, and that's where we get our revenue from, and when you spread out all the costs, it's, it kind of makes good sense. But we cannot stand on less than, let's say, six or seven legs. Greenland is the land of opportunities. Fishing is, of course, the lifeline and primary industry of Greenland uh, economy, and uh, Greenland has actually the most modern fishing fleet in the world, of which we are very proud. Energy and mining are also important business areas for Greenland, and more than 200 years of prospecting, collection, and study of minerals in Greenland has led to the discovery of many precious metals, rare earths, e and even oil and gas. And one of the reasons for being here today is to hopefully be able to boost exploitation of these reserves in the future to the benefit of Greenland and to the mining industry represented here today. In order to become less uh, dependent on the import of fossil fuels, Greenland has utilized its hydropower potential by building hydropower plants and uh, in covering more than 70% of the energy needs of the country, providing towns with truly green electricity. The goal is to further ride the green wave and become CO2 neutral in, in, uh, as a country within the foreseeable future. The tourism industry is also undergoing massive developments these years, and Greenland is getting increasingly popular, making tourism in Greenland another attractive investment opportunity. Our country's biggest advantages are, of course, its natural resources and its beautiful and unspoiled nature, which makes Greenland unique and in its own way exotic compared to other destinations. Our challenge for the future will be to attract more business while still preserving our environment, which requires great sustainability focus in the years ahead, as His Royal Highness also stressed in his excellent speeches both yesterday and this morning. But Greenland is also the land of challenges. Our people live in very remote areas, which makes access 
to education and health services difficult. Logistics can be a nightmare at best, and if you need a part in North Greenland, you can be almost sure that the closest spare part will be in the south. Add to this our long distances and unpredictable weather, and you have a perfect storm of opposition when trying to operate. The weather changes rapidly and sets the limits for both our domestic and camp operations, as I am sure that many of you have experienced. We usually say that Greenland always wins. And just to give you a comparison, a European airline pilot will make on average one go around with a diversion per year. A long haul pilot will make one every five years. In Greenland, we have guys making six in a day. Uh, so it is uh, difficult operating uh, conditions. So a little bit about Air Greenland. This is a picture from Gamma Susok, as, uh, and as Johannes uh, correctly stated, Gamma Susok is the gateway to Greenland. Um, and it will continue to be so until Johannes, is, uh, he completes his revolution, long-awaited revolution, as you say. Uh, here our Airbus arrives uh, twice a day in the high season and uh, four times a week in uh, the off season. Um, and what happens from here on is basically a spider's web of life and business critical services such as transporting people, cargo, medicine, mail, spare parts, search and rescue flights, medical evacuations, telecommunication support flights, VIP flights, heli skiing, polar bear tagging, surveys, prospecting, sing operations, and even more strange operations that uh, you've probably never heard about. Um, so it is humbling and it does uh, put a lot of pressure on Air Greenland to deliver such critical services. And it requires robust equipment, but more importantly, some of the best employees in the world. We have to have some of the best trained pilots. We have uh, some of the most experienced mechanics and business working together with the organization to keep everything in uh, the air. The system has been like this since, uh, unchanged basically, since the 60s. Um, so since then, uh, Greenland has been the belt and road of, uh, of Greenland when it comes to flying, connecting north and south and connected Greenland to the outside world through uh, Nassau and Gangnam And we can proudly say that we have also served the mining industry for uh, six, almost 60 years. And we've been in such diverse places as Alaska and Yemen and even uh, Mongolia and we've been to the, uh, the South Pole as well. Uh, today we mainly focus on Greenland um, and I know that uh, the Canadians in the room will appreciate uh, the challenges associated with uh, high, uh, high risk Arctic operations. A Greenland group um, consists of two uh, subsidiaries, Greenland Travel uh, and Hotel Arctic and also uh, two associate companies, uh, Norland Air and uh, Nordoflug. Uh, Nordoflug uh, flies helicopters in Iceland, and Norland Air they, uh, do an excellent job of uh, remote field operations in uh, northeast Greenland uh, using twin otters. Uh, I can highly recommend Norland Air as a, a great partner for the mining industry as well. Um, and our, in the last couple of years, we have seen record number of passengers, and we have seen growth in basically most sectors. Um, and both Air Greenland, the mother company, and the subsidiaries are all delivering uh, really good uh, results and profits. Greenland Travel is also represented here today. Uh, Greenland Travel is a leading travel agency for uh, leisure and business in Greenland. So if you ever plan on going to Greenland uh, for business, I recommend talking to Marie Louise and uh, Tina, who is also uh, represented here today. Just showed about our uh, diverse uh, fleet of aircraft. The uh, Airbus 330 up in the left corner, and we have one of those. It, uh, it's basically the backbone of the operations between Copenhagen and Greenland. Uh, we also uh, just won the uh, very attractive uh, logistic contract for the uh, US Air Force, flying supplies and uh, personnel to the Air Force base. Uh, so once a month, the Airbus will go to, uh, to Thule. Um, our 61s, they were delivered new from the Sikorsky factory back in 1965, still flying. Um, yeah, it's an excellent aircraft doing search and rescue operations. We have 7-8 aircraft, which are the, uh, do the uh, domestic flights. It's the backbone of the domestic operation. The Bell 212 helicopter, also known as uh, the Vietnam model, um, also been in Greenland for almost 40 years. Uh, it's a tractor uh, uh, flying con connecting the communities with the uh, larger cities. 
and we have the kit here down in the left hand corner flying medical evacuation flights it's on a permanent contract with the health department services in Greenland and it's the only medical evacuation aircraft dedicated for that kind of operation in Greenland and then we have our uh, workhorses the AS350 helicopters uh, serving mainly the, uh, the mineral, mineral industry uh, and also doing hello skiing and, and all these exciting operations In the years to come, to prepare for Johannes' uh, projects uh, until the new airports are inaugurated, Agreement's focus will be on performance, securing that Agreement of tomorrow will be an effective airline uh, with competitive prices and a good product. Our foundation is building on a lean culture uh, through strong leadership and high focus on safety. Um, we'll deliver the results through a strong and efficient fleet strategy um, and building strong, loyal, long-lasting relationships with our customers. <clears throat> so all these standard slides about a Greenland, uh, just so the basic facts, but what is it that a Greenland actually can deliver? What is our promise to you as a customer? To put it shortly, it's service first, safety always, as it says here. Um, we live in Greenland, our children live in Greenland. This is where we live our everyday lives. So we know what it takes, and we also get punished for making mistakes. We get hit ourselves. So with our many years of not only experience, but development and constantly evolving and refining our operation, we have now evolved into one of Europe's most diverse aviation operations, delivering class-leading uh, safety performance. And we are basically your one-stop shop for your every aviation need. Our, <coughs> and our experience in operating in the Arctic and being a close partner with the mining <coughs> industry for 60 years gives you a high level of safety, high degree of support. We're in it for the long run, and because we also need to be here tomorrow, we have to care for you, our customers, and we also have to care for the society in which we operate. So choosing a Greenland as your preferred aviation partner gives you not only a high degree of operational robustness, high level of safety and high degree of support, but will also give a high degree of social responsibility. And remember, it's when things go, go wrong that you need real friends to call. This map just shows how we have divided Greenland into sectors for our uh, helicopter operations. And it, just to show you that, uh, to go into the A se sectors, uh, it's your basic training, and you can uh, operate uh, in a normal system. If you want to go into the B areas, it requires extra training, extra approvals. C areas are basically no-go unless you have even more training, extra equipment, and chief pilot approvals. Um, and this has to do both with, of course, the geography and also, you know, polar bears. And here's a tip for you. You know what the best polar bear protection is? Being able to outrun the guy next to you. Johannes, <laughs> um, he already presented uh, the new uh, the plans for the uh, upcoming infrastructure projects. And these will face both Greenland and Air Greenland with the largest changes in company history. And it's all happening now, and we are very fortunate to be part of it. And uh, we're really looking forward to uh, these pro uh, projects materializing. <coughs> so, what is it that uh, we see in the future? What is it that uh, Johannes' uh, 14 million cubic meters of hard rock will change? <coughs> well, for the majority of our home market passengers, the existing system, the transport system will be both cheaper and more effective. This will, of course, increase mobility, increase demand within Greenland and also internationally for both citizens and businesses locally and internationally. The new infrastructure will make Greenland more accessible for both businesses such as yourselves attending PDSE and for the tourist sector. Export of uh, fresh fish is another uh, great opportunity uh, in combination with uh, John's uh, Sikoki Harbor and also uh, possibilities within the cruise uh, tourism industry for uh, passenger exchange uh, and, and those segments. We will see efficiencies, increased shorter travel times, lower prices, all major drivers in uh, creating and uh, growth within the tourism industry. And with timely investments, this will create growth opportunities, make Greenland less dependent on fisheries and subsidies from Denmark, and more independent and stronger as a nation. A famous quote states that you cannot plan the future by the past, and this is very true. And my dad, he always taught me that luck is a method. In other ways, uh, you need to be able to, to dream, but you also need to be able to put in the hard work to make that dream happen. 
We in agreement believe that Johannes Airport projects will become a great success and we foresee direct flights between Greenland and North America in five years time and we also believe that it will be red aircraft flying you there. To exploit these opportunities, of course, we need to put in the hard work as mentioned in the years to come. So in the last couple of years, we've worked hard on lowering prices, developing new products and improving our existing offerings, all while enhancing our safety performance. This work continues through our lean initiatives and cost cutting programs. In the coming years, our fleet will also undergo a radical renewal. We will uh, this year change our King Air, the Medivac aircraft. We will, within the coming years, bid on the new search and rescue uh, contracts in Greenland with the new equipment, basically meaning that the Sikorsky 61 helicopters will be phased out. Same goes with the government contracts where the Bell 212 helicopters will be phased out in June of 2021 and we will bid on the new contracts with the modern heli helicopters. Our fleet of AS350 helicopters for the mining industry are state of the art today, but they will be replaced as a function of demand, making sure that we at all times have the best suited equipment for the job. Our A330 is also up for a replacement and hopefully we'll be able to fly you around in a brand new Wi-Fi equipped energy efficient uh, aircraft in 2023. And hopefully we'll have added capability to reach not only Copenhagen and Keflavik, but also New York and maybe even Toronto in the future. These fleet developments will have a big impact on the company, on training, new procedures, and new possibilities and challenges, and all within a relatively short time frame. In the meantime, we're working hard to build and attract more businesses within the different sectors to prepare for this added capacity. And this is a time to say that Greenland represents a very stable, investor environment. We have stable politics, stable infrastructure, with modern communications, good credit ratings, <laughs> and lots of very competent local partners to support outside investments. One of the key elements to successful operations in Greenland is of course planning ahead. So, as soon as you think about going to Greenland, give us a call and we're ready to support you in every way that we can. The sooner you can, uh, we can allocate capacity, the better. And even if you just want to hear more on logistics and support, give us a call, drop by the office, and remember to visit our stand here at PEAC, where uh, Bagua is uh, spring-loaded to uh, selling you helicopter hours. Um, this was basically what I had to say, so thank you very much for your time, and uh, have a great conference. See you in Greenland.